Hey everyone, my name is Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. This is a channel where I cook vegan treats and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Still baking, but this one's a little bit savoury. Um, we're going to be trying the TikTok trend, the baked pasta chips. Um, I'm going to try a few different flavours. I'm really looking forward to this one. They look so good, so let's see how it's going. I will put a reference video here as well. I just tried the trending pasta chips and they're worth all the hype. Start by cooking pasta and mixing it with olive oil, parmesan cheese, and spices. Air fry at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, tossing halfway through. So without further ado, let's get baking. Okay, so for this recipe, we're going to be boiling the pasta first, and then we're going to bake them at 400 Fahrenheit, which is just over 200 degrees Celsius. Fan force in an oven, you can also do them in an air fryer, but we're going to be doing them in the oven because I want to try a few different flavours out. So to start with, we're going to boil some pasta. I don't have all of that like plain... I don't have all of these plain, like just plain white ones. I don't really feel like picking them out. So we're going to use mixed pasta. Basically, we just basically we just scoop out a bunch of pasta, boil it up, and we season it and bake it. Pretty simple, really. I don't know how something like this could taste though, so I'm excited. I forgot to mention while the pasta is boiling, you need to make sure you preheat the oven, and I didn't even turn the stove on. Okay, so I've strained my pasta. Um, I already started with the Italian herbs one. I've just put I just put some olive oil and Italian herbs in the bowl, mixed it all around, and now I've laid them out on the tray. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Angel Foods dairy-free parmesan over the top of it there. Just give it a little sprinkle. Whoopsies, that's not a little bit. And just put this over the top. And then we will bake those, but I'm going to try out some other flavors too. The other flavors I would like to try, I'm going to put in just a tiny bit more oil. Yep, perfect. And some smoked paprika in this one. And the last one we're going to be doing is some Mexican seasoning. All good. Okay, well, that one smells really good. Oh, it might just have a little bit of salt as well, actually. I'm going to tell those two apart. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so let's just bake in there for 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll see you when it's done. Alright, so I pulled them out of the oven and let them cool down. Um, put them on this little tray here. So on the left, we have the Parmesan, Italian herbs and salts. In the middle, we have the smoked paprika. And on the end there, we have the Mexican seasoning. I'm going to try one of each and let you know what I think. Um, in all honesty, I was picking at them while setting them up on this tray here. And they're really good. <laughs> I finished the leftover ones, but here we go. Oh, that was a good one. That has a good crunch. Um, they're so good though. They're like the ones I don't have too much oil in them. Some of them have too much oil and they don't crisp up as nicely. Oh, and that was a good one. Good crunch. Cheese is nice. I like the herbs. On TikTok, lots of them have the dips and marinara sauce and cheese and stuff, but I didn't make them those. So. Plain chips it is, but 
Very, very good. All right, moving on. We have the smoked paprika. Mm, another good one, wasn't it? Um, can't taste the smoked paprika as much as you can taste the salt and the cheese, but it's still overall good. They're just like, it's just a nice texture. It's like eating dry pasta, but without that like awful texture and flavor you get and pain in your teeth. It's all right. Lastly, we got the Mexican seasoning one. Mm. You can taste the Mexican seasoning a lot better as well. Really, really good chips. Um, one thing I did try one of these on accident, so we'll try this one. It even works for spiral pasta. So what the heck? I do think these ones are best though. And my favorite is definitely the one with parmesan and cheese. Italian herbs and cheese is the way to go. Alright, that's all for my TikTok video. We will see you in the next one. I definitely recommend trying this out. It is definitely a win. It tastes amazing. And have a great day.